And I tell you, a uh, man outsmarts himself when man tries to outsmart God. And uh, there are multiple reasons why uh, these things shouldn't matter to you. Number one, all nations are judged by how they treat their most vulnerable. And the most vulnerable in society are indeed the unborn. Plus, there is um, other benefits from people being born. Now, many of you that I'm looking at tonight and many of you who are watching me who are uh, younger than I am, uh, some of you are 10 years younger, some of you are 15 years younger, so forth and so on, and some of you are my age. I have news for you. If things continue to go the way they're going because we've outsmarted themselves, you can give Social Security goodbye. I suggest to you, Invest. My young brother said that. Invest. Be wise. Don't blow your uh, years in and out of jail trying to be a thug. Be smart. Because there, there will be none for him. There will be none for my grandkids. As it is currently constructed, it's going broke. You know why? We messed it up. We tried to outsmart God. Since Roe v. Wade, 60 million plus people are missing. They're missing. Where are they? We aborted them. But what does that have to do with Social Security? Everything. For instance, in 1940, there was 159 people paying into Social Security per every one person who was getting a benefit. 159 people. We got smart and decided we we're going to kill people before they were born. Today, you know what the ratios are? 3.3 persons now are paying in per each individual who's getting a benefit. So it can't last. And we can't solve the problem because the problem is we don't have enough people to pay into it. We outsmarted ourselves. We killed them. And every time you abort a child, you, you wipe out two generations. The baby that was aborted and the baby that that and the babies that that baby would have brought into this world. And in our being smart, we've outsmarted their, ourselves. We ran into persons who are part of AARP, the American Association of Retired Persons. And they're trying to give us some pushback on what we're trying to do. Now, you've got to be crazy. If you're over AARP, which deal with seniors, old people, who ought to be the main ones who want people to be born so you can get a check. Because if there's no people around to work to pay into the system, the system collapses. We've outsmarted ourselves. China came up with a one-child policy, and they did that because they wanted to stop their population growth. You know, China... Uh, used to be the world's most populous country, but they're going to lose uh, that distinction um, uh, very soon. See, they, they implemented a one-child policy, and then the one-child policy that they implemented uh, was favorable to uh, boys. So, now... And this one, one child policy, you know, man is stupid when man tried to outsmart God. Uh, according to the Pew Research Study uh, of the UN database, uh, in fact, China accounted for, look at this, 51% of the world's missing females between 1970 and 1920. Uh, 1970 and 2020 due to sex selective abortions or neglect according to the 2020 UN report. So what they began to do, to do is abort more girls than boys through sex selection abortions. So in China today, there's about um, at least 30 million fewer females it's beginning to be a population full of males. Well, how, that ain't good. Say amen. The point I'm making is, is that we're not wiser than God. When man tried to outsmart God, man outsmarts himself. <laughs>